Hey, Danny. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I got some of your swings here on video. Let's kind of go through this so we can kind of get you on track. Um, so on the left side, I have you, obviously, then Mo on the right-hand side. So you can see it goes outside, goes above the plane line, and it comes back down. So it's, it, what you see is you, know, you do a pretty good job setting up, but then it, kind of, it goes out above the plane. So let's take a look at Mo here on this side. And what you see is Mo takes the club to the inside. Mm -hmm. Then it goes up to the top, and then it gets on the plane line, hands come down the line, and the club comes from the inside. So ideally, you wanna see the club come from an inside path. You want it to come from, uh, the hands to come down the line and the club to stay underneath the line. That's the inside path. You can see the proper face angle. That's gonna hit the yes. best golf shot. So the single plane, it starts there, moves up to it, and then the hands come down it, club goes slightly beneath it. Okay, right. so let's get you set up and see if I can't work with you a little bit on that, all right? Okay, okay so one of the keys here is this, is getting you tilted. See how I tilted you a little bit? You feel a little more tilted? Yeah. Now, right there, let me see your setup for just one second. That's a nice, nice setup. Now, what you're gonna do is you're feeling, instead of being outside, mm -hmm. it needs to be an inside path, yep. okay? So I want you to see, scoot a little bit away from the ball. You're a little too close. Okay, good. So let's see if you can make a nice inside path. And it's going to feel kind of like you're swinging out to the right a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. All right, stay right there. I want you to have you go and hit one from right there for me. Nice job. Better, right? Yeah. Let's do one more where you feel you take it inside and then do that, okay? Right there. So two things now. Inside path, into the knee. That's it, right there, okay? Turn the foot out just a little bit with me. Got it. Okay, inside path. Feel that? Yep. Okay, nice easy swing. Inside path and into the flexible knee. Nice and easy, you don't have to hit it hard. Great shot, great shot. Hitting into that flex lead knee is a big deal, right? That was good. That was a great yeah, shot. Thank you. Thank you. All Appreciate right. it. So Danny, he was a great guy, and he did a good job. And what you see with Danny is that he actually had a pretty normal, uh, what we call a single plane setup. So he did a pretty good job right off the bat with the single plane address position. A couple of things you saw him do, which is kind of typical for uh, people. They, they, some people think that the swing is actually straight back and straight through. And so what you saw him do is he kind of took the club to the outside got above the plane line and then it would come across the ball a little bit. So what we worked with him is we actually set him up on the single plane and then created an inside path. You wanna see the club move to the inside. So we worked on his inside path. And then we worked on another very important thing was getting into a flex lead knee, which is a stable flex lead side. When we created those two things, as we see with the single plane swing, it felt, you could tell it kind of felt different to him as it usually does, taking the club from an outside position to an inside position. But once we got him on plane in the backswing, he hit some really, really good shots. So we were kind of excited to see how the two things we changed with him were get the club on a single plane, get it more to the inside, and then hit that flex lead knee really helped him improve his swing plane. I started playing golf in January of 2015. When I first started playing golf, a lot of the challenges I experienced was I didn't really know how to hold the, the golf club. You got play with friends, you try to get a little coaching advice from them, Everybody had a lot of something to say about a whole lot of nothing to, to get to hit the ball. So my biggest frustration is just how to address the ball. Didn't even know the term at that time, but uh, uh, that's probably been the, the biggest frustration when I first started. What got me excited and motivated about golf was as I was approaching my retirement time and uh, in the middle of 2015, I was making a list of things I want to do when I retire. So the wife and I, we listed golf as one of those things to try. So we, we started off just kind of hitting at a, a local uh, driving range. Uh, had an old set of clubs I've had forever and ever and ever, never used them much, but we uh, decided to start playing and then we made the commitment and joined the club and then started looking for somewhere to, to learn how to play golf. I learned about Gray's Golf Academy in December 2014 when I was just kind of doing some research on trying to, to learn out. I want to go to a school somewhere, uh, learn more about golf you know, get the right instruction to start with and then, and then go from there. And I just doing uh, some keyword searching on the internet, 
found Graves, uh, uh, Graves Golf Academy, Mo Norman, and then started clicking and it was like, I uh, watched a couple of demo videos that they had on the, the website, ordered it the same day, got it a couple of days later, and, and, uh, and from there, that's where I started. And that, would, that was like right around New Year's. You know, in learning the single plane swing, uh, my experience has been it, it, it's a model that I can follow. Being a retired uh, Marine, we follow numbers, we follow instructions, we can, you know, we, we, that's how we work. And the Mo Norman, it, there's the six steps in the swing. And if you follow and practice them, you, uh, you, I see immediate results from doing that. And that was just with the video and then the manual that comes with it. I printed it off, read it. Uh, gee, just started the PVC drills, got the bag, started doing all those different things and just started seeing an instant improvement from hitting the ball all over the place to hitting it straighter and I actually hit it farther. Uh, most recently, uh, I submitted one of my videos to get it uh, analyzed by, by Graves, and I got my feedback, and uh, we had just completed the uh, short game stat sheet. So I redid the four rounds, I got the stats in, and sent it off, and thinking, you know, we'll see what comes back, and sure enough, uh, sent me a little written instruction, kind of a narrative of what was going on. Then I got my response back from the instructor, and he gave me just a couple of little tips, and, and, and what what they wanted me to do was to hit the ball farther so I would have a less approach shot distance. And sure enough, I started working the, 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 the PVC, doing the bag a little bit, getting in the mirror, went out to the, the golf course and immediately started hitting the ball a few yards farther. And then last week, uh, I teed up on a, on a tee and my longest drive ever was 254 yards with this club here that's been up a little bit already. And it's uh, because of that little bit of coaching. It's just a couple of little things. I'm still working on it, but uh, it was an aha moment for me. And when you hit the ball that well, you feel it. And that's kind of maybe that feeling of greatness that you talk about. So it was pretty wow. And it went a long way, close to the hole. I think I, I think I bogeyed that one though. It's still, still, still pretty good. This year I set a goal to, uh, to break 90 on my score sheet. So I went from 140 and I'm, uh, my best round so far has been a 92. I'm just a few strokes away from, from breaking 90, and, and, but I'm, I'm, uh, my goal this year is to break 90, and uh, I want to just continue to work my short game, keep uh, participating in my coaching program, and just keep working the system, you know, and, and, and enjoying golf. You know, you think about comments and feedback you get from, your, from your, your, the guys you play with, and uh, I've had some some like, wow, that's a good, nice shot, Danny. And, um, and then when I'm keeping my stats, kind of guys look at me kind of weird like, man, you, you keep too much numbers, you're too serious about this. And I just keep doing it because it's, it's my way of, of just following the model. But I like to keep numbers, I like to keep stats on myself, I like to see myself improving. And it's out of their comfort zone for a lot of people. I'm the guy that goes out to the driving range and I'll take my tripod and my little phone and I'll film myself. And people are kind of looking at you like, what's he doing? But uh, that works for me. Um, you know, I've seen, I've had the opportunity to see a lot of people play golf now, and, and now that I've learned more about golf and the Mo Norman system, the Gray's Golf Academy, I see, uh, I see people doing things that, that I know that they sh could do better. And I think about the, the the Mo Norman swing. I think if you would just try it, just try it, and see for yourself the difference you'll make. For me, the difference was immediately with the 140 score to hit the ball straighter and longer after just a couple of days of practicing with the video. You need to try it. It'll make a difference for you.